welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, and let's get started. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my realistic quarantine routine. Good morning. So somehow I just woke up and it is 1.38 in the afternoon. Um, I would be ashamed, but I'm honestly just a night owl, so I stay up till like 5 a.m. sometimes. First thing I do when I wake up, let's be honest, don't lie about it, I play on my phone. I check social media and I watch TikToks, except my Wi-Fi is being stupid. So my phone was just not loading anything and that was really frustrating. So I guess I have to get up. First thing you'll catch me doing every morning, regardless of what's happening, is going to the bathroom. Now this is not a morning routine. So who cares about my skincare routine? I'll do that when I do a morning routine, but gotta wash my face brush my teeth put on moisturizer And now I'm ready for the day So then I'm gonna finally leave my room and I go straight into the studio because that is where I will find my husband And most likely he's playing games With storm. So I go on my side of the desk and pull out my computer I could spend literally forever on my computer, but I'm most likely going to be watching YouTube videos, trying to come up with video ideas, or editing a video or something like that. Then I was just walking into my living room and I saw that my two cats were just chilling, looking real cute, so I had to go give them some love. If you guys are new to this channel, the girl on the top is Zora. She's our little baby, she's super sassy, so she doesn't really like to hang, so I'm actually surprised that she let me pet her. And then we have Ace who just loves us and I can carry him around, do whatever. He loves us so much. And these are their favorite chairs. They are pretty much always in the window, just looking out. Now, it's time to eat food. Yay. So if you guys saw my last video, you saw that my favorite breakfast is avocado toast with an egg on top. I have eggs, I have toast, but we're out of avocados. And we only have like, Two pieces of bread left. And it's the foots. And you know who doesn't have bread at the store? The store. That didn't make any sense. Okay, but what? Like, I just want to have my breakfast, but I can't. So I figured now is a better time than ever to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by the government people of my county. For legal reasons, I'm going to hop in and say this isn't actually sponsored if you don't get the joke. Okay. My entire city is like on a lockdown right now. For 30 days, we are not allowed to go leave our house. The only reason you can leave is to go get groceries, to exercise outside, or if you're like a medical worker or like an essential worker. Although they say that restaurants are gonna stay open as long as they're carry out. So maybe we'll go test our luck today and see what restaurants are still open for carry out. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for sponsoring. Really appreciate it. I love being stuck in my house. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't in self-quarantine. Like, I feel like this is just my normal daily routine. I don't know though, I just feel so trapped. The fact that I'm not allowed to go out really makes me feel trapped. So anyway, what am I going to eat for breakfast? No idea. Um, my fridge is so empty. I can make like a smoothie bowl. Great. Nothing sounds good. Uh, I also have cereal. Maybe I'll just eat cereal. So, quick awkward angle story time. Uh, this happens quite frequently with Dallin, but I actually hopped in on it last night. So, it was about 3 a.m., and Dallin was like, hey, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and make some food. I was like, you know what? I'm not even tired. So, I got up. We came in here, I had like four meals at like 3 a.m. Like what is wrong with me? I made like chicken sandwiches, I made cereal, I made cereal, I ate cereal, and a granola bar. And I probably would have ate more, but I started to get tired. What is, what is life happening to me? I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay, I think I'm just gonna make a smoothie. Smoothie montage. <laughs> 
So today's adventure is that we're gonna take our cats outside and they haven't really been outside that much because I got Zora in the winter and you know what, Ace has been outside a decent amount of times but we've actually been like harness training them and ace has been leash training because if you didn't know we have bengal cats and bengal cats can actually be trained to like go on walks and supposedly they like really enjoy it once you like get the training done so we are slowly working on it and say we're just gonna kind of take them out into the backyard and let them walk around and see how it feels so down's putting on the harnesses and while he does that i'm gonna go hop in the shower and then put on like shorts and a t-shirt because we're gonna be outside i'm gonna be hot and we're gonna be walking and it'll be my workout of the day just um standing outside hello okay let's take a shower okay i'm ready for the day i went for like a super chill outfit since we're gonna go outside and get some exercise so i'm just wearing like running shorts and a t-shirt and my blue hair i love it so much Okay, so at this point in the day, like our routine, there is no routine. We might play video games the rest of the day <laughs> or film or edit or just like watch YouTube or Netflix, which is basically what everyone's doing. And that's why this is realistic because everyone's like, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm doing this, I'm working out. We all know you're not, okay? We all know it. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> I have been trying to work out, like, but it's just not working out. It's not working out. When working out, to out, work out isn't out. working out, got him. <laughs> Summer bod, not happening. Hi Ace! Wanna look, go outside? Look how mad Zora is. Zora got really mad at us. She didn't want to be in her harness. So she's gonna stay inside for now and we're gonna take Ace out. I feel like he'll like it because we took him out a lot when he was a kitten. I guess he still is a kitten. Why are you sitting like that? All right, Ace has his harness on and his, and leash. his leash, and he is ready to He's go. Been training his whole life. We finally get to use our backyard. We've like never used it. Ace is gonna freak out a little bit. He probably will, but I feel like he'll enjoy it after a little bit. Oh, him scared. Even when we like leave the doors open, they never go outside. He's confused. Oh, just, I just want to go him, back in. Let him do his thing. I sad. Oh, Ace. I think. It's, we can't separate them. Should we get Zora so he doesn't feel left out? Well, Zora will freak out just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ace, tell us how you're feeling today. What's going on, buddy? Oh. Oh, oh. So, oh he's Some getting explory. Aww. Aww. Oh, He's like exploring, but still sad. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, okay, door's there, okay, I'm here. What is he doing? <laughs> he's trying to get in the pot. He's so cute. Whoa. Walking away. I want him in the grass. I feel like he'll like the grass. We, yeah, put him in the grass. Hey, He's like, what is this? This is where you're meant to be, Ace, in yeah. the wild. Oh, oh <laughs> there he goes. Bye bye. <laughs> We're now bringing out both the cats. Maybe they'll do better together. Oh. Ace! Look! And. They both want to go inside. She's kind of chilling. I say we just give them a little bit. Yeah. See, now they have each other. They're so. <laughs> I want mine to explore. <laughs> Mine's barely oh, exploring. Ace is coming yep. back to check on her. Like go sit in the grass. I think it would be good if we just straight up like took them to a park. Yeah, because then, then they, they can't like go back inside. Because right now they know we're at home. Like Ace does not want any part of it. Going well, not really, but it's really cute. They'll get used to it. By the end of summer, they'll love being outside. This is so sad. Okay, you guys need to stop loving the house so much. Okay, we're adventurous. All right, we're gonna try hanging by this stump. It's a little bit explorer-esque, you know? Yeah, it's going good. Just do some exploring. He's so mad. This is very mad. Look, Zora's over here. Well, they look cute. Oh, you are. We need to get them like a pen. Then we wouldn't have to put Send them on leashes. 
feel good, buddy? She like doesn't think she can get off of this. Also, so you guys know, the only reason we really have them on leashes is so they don't like run off the fence. We're kind of just letting them do whatever they want. So we walk like with them. We're not trying to like take them on a walk. Okay, we can go back inside. Let's go. Um, she's trying to hide. She's like about to go under the house. I opened the door, she won't go in. Do you want to go inside? I think she wants to go. I think she is. Oh, there's our boy. <laughs> she's like, wait, am I allowed? She's very confused. Well, she sees oh, Ace. Okay. Oh, oh, and you're gone. Goodbye. She gone. Ace is just contemplating life. <laughs> They're both so mad. I thought it'd be fine. Okay, well, that is it for today's video. This was kind of our routine of like the morning, and then we kind of just like do whatever the rest of the day. Um, it was fun to take the cats out, but they didn't really enjoy it. But I got on Pinterest and I was doing a bunch of research about like taking your bangles outside. It just takes time and training, but eventually we want to build like a really cool like catio that has like scratch posts and like just so many fun things and then like have it attached to like a window or something so then they can kind of go in and out when we're home and I think they'll just be so cute and I feel like then they could get used to it while still having like a good environment because there was nowhere for them to like hide so they were probably really scared but just future things. This section of our house is like the garage but if somehow I saw this on Pinterest you could like get a cat door like installed right there and then we could turn like this little corner section into a catio and then like when we're home we can just unlock it and they can go in and out. I feel like they would love that. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys the updates on Storm's cage. So we went to the pet store before everything closed and got him a second hideout and a thing to climb on and then some foliage and yeah he seems really happy because now he's in the second hideout and now he has one on just like the normal side and then the side with the heating pad which I read was super important so there you go and for the cats to not get on it we have this and we poked like a bunch of holes in it and I don't know I guess it works for now but we lock them out at night so there's not even like a risk so yeah there he is and yeah so that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you in the next one bye